Welcome to our video series on advanced features in Windows XP. In this video, we'll create a new folder on the desktop. If you want to create a new folder on the desktop, just find a blank area on the desktop, right click, choose New and Folder, and it creates a new folder. Importantly here, you see, it's automatically called New Folder, and the text is selected, which you can see because there's some white area around it. That means you can rename the folder. If I were to click away from the folder, you see the white space disappears, and it's just a selected folder. That may be a little bit difficult to see on the blue-on-blue -blue background, and actually, let me change the desktop background now so it's clearer. OK, I've changed it to the default Windows XP background. And if I click, you see, and actually, let me just move that. And it's a little bit clearer against the clouds. You can see that I just clicked on it once, and it selected the folder but I can't change the text if I type. I'm hitting the keyboard now, and it's not changing it. To rename it, you have to click once more. Click once, and you see that it changes the way it's selected, if you see the difference. How it's selected now, we can change the text. If we click away, now it's just selected, but I can't change the text. Let me just click once more, and now I can change the text to call it whatever I want. For example, this is my folder. And when I'm done, just press Enter, and I've renamed it. And if I want to rename it again, just click once, again. It has to be selected, first of all. For example, if I click away here, the folder is no longer selected. I have to click once to select it and then once more to be able to change the text. So this is my brand new folder, and press Enter. OK, one little shortcut you might find helpful. When a folder is selected, you can just press the F2 key. The F2 should be at the top left of your keyboard, and you see it changes, so you can change the text. OK, so now we've created and renamed a new folder. So let's double-click it to go into it. And here's how it looks. It's completely empty currently. There are no files nor any folders in it. As you can see, it's the same kind of layout as my computer. There's just nothing on this side. So if I were to go again to File, New, Folder, I can create a new folder, and it's now a subfolder of the initial folder I created. So I'm just going to call it Subfolder, and press Enter. And it works the same way. I can just click on it again to rename it if I wish and click away to deselect it, and I can change the view slightly by clicking here, or alternatively, I can go View, Icons for Icon View, and there's the subfolder. If I double-click it, there I am, there's nothing inside it either. And you can tell where you are at any time. This is an important point to mention. It gets a little bit more involved, but it's important to note. There's the address bar here. And if it's not showing, just right click and make sure address bar is selected. And this tells you exactly which folder you're in. The C colon tells you you're in C drive. And the C drive for me happens to be one of my hard drives. And then it's C colon backslash. And then it starts listing the folders. So I'm in the documents and settings folder. And then there's the backslash, which tells you you're at the end of that folder and you're going into a new folder. So within the Documents and Settings folder, 
there's an owner subfolder. And within that, there's a desktop subfolder. And within that, I created the this is my brand new folder folder. And then finally, within that, there is the subfolder folder, which I'm now in. So this tells you exactly where you are. I'm currently looking at the contents of the subfolder folder. And here's the full path to that folder. And as you may have noticed, a lot of these folders, I didn't create all of this. There are thousands, if not tens of thousands, of folders on a computer, and most of those are automatically created by Windows and by the software you install. Windows automatically sets up a document and settings folder, and a desktop folder, and so on. Then within those, you can create more folders and subfolders. So that's how you can create new folders. And actually, it's worth noting that as well as right-clicking and choosing New, you can also, within this screen, go to File, New, and Folder. It's exactly the same thing, just a little different way of accessing it. Finally, it's worth mentioning, if I close this, let's go to My Computer, and if I double-click on the C drive to go into C drive, Okay, I've gone into the C drive, and you can see from the address bar that I'm just in the C drive. And here's a bit of important terminology. If you've gone to a drive, and you're not in any folders at all, you're in what is known as root. It's the root of the drive, which means that you're not in any folders. So, I'm in the root of C. I'm not in any folders at all. And really, you could say that if C drive is the filing cabinet, the folders that you see here are the absolutely top-level folders within the filing cabinet. And each folder within those are subfolders of these top-level folders. So really, everything starts with these top-level folders within C drive. So again, if C drive is the filing cabinet, everything is within these main folders. Maybe because these folders are so important, you could consider them separate drawers within the filing cabinet. Obviously, that's just an analogy, but these top-level folders contain so much data, and so many subfolders, and so many files, that maybe you can consider them drawers, because there's so much information in each one. For example, the Windows folder contains the entire Windows software, so that's vital to your computer. Now, there are also a few files here in the root of C, but I don't recommend saving files to the root of any drive, because it's quite an untidy way to work. It's best to put things in folders and store them in logical places. But if you wish, you can create more folders in the root. So here we could go File, New, Folder. And we've now created another new top-level folder in C drive, and we could call it what we want. And that covers how you can create folders pretty much anywhere on your computer, and also the important concept of the root, and how folders stem from the root within each drive.